What about your podcast? Quest Love Supreme. Yeah, Quest Love Supreme. Um, it, it gives me an excuse to just nerd out and <laughs> and I, I, you know, I ask all the intricate questions that you know the average interviewer wouldn't ask. But a lot of it is about the creative process. Yeah. So because that's what fascinates you the most. Yeah. So uh, you know, an artist like uh, producer Jimmy Jam, who produced mm -hmm. like Janet Jackson, whatever. I mean, my podcast is normally ninety minutes. His interview wound up being seven hours. Seven hours. Yeah, because he's just full of creative information. And I feel that that's important because a lot of times, you know, colleges want me to give lectures and whatnot, and I don't have it's the time more to do it. Right. It's, so. it's more important to be able to give that to everyone and to widen the conversation. Yes, yeah. exactly. So. I, I hope that you took a food break, though. I could talk for seven hours, but I would need some beverages. We took, we took one bathroom break. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> you would need to go to the, the, the men's and the ladies accordingly. Yeah. But I see, I would need some food in there, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we actually had popcorn. So. The popcorn break! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this bowl is so gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. You can leave that, can't you? Just like leave it behind and. Leave it for you? Yeah, yeah. I'll leave Fall it for you. Fall off a truck? It's yours, yes. <laughs> it's just so pretty. It's absolutely yours. <laughs> so of your 14 jobs, uh, do you have a favorite on here? Um, How many films have you scored? I love the idea I've of done, being a film score writer. Well, I, I mean, I've done film and television. Uh, I start, my very first gig was uh, The Chappelle Show. So all the oh music that God. was on The Chappelle Show. Um, Amy Schumer show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, everything. One of, one of my obsessions was being a sort of uh, unknown uh, characters on shows, so I got the bucket list being on Law and Order as a dead body. So. <laughs> That's literally on my bucket list. I've been begging for years to be at least a corpse. Yeah. It's, I'm obsessed with cop shows. I, I begged for three years and I finally got How it. How was it? It was, you know, there, there's a whole, there's a crew of actors that, whose job it is just to be like the incidental just, dead bodies <laughs> on yeah. New York shows. And so, yeah, they were kind of riffing at me because my scene was indoors, whereas they had to lie on the street. They for, have to be dead yeah, and, and, and frozen four cold. Four hours. How yeah. many hours were you dead? Uh, <laughs> no, it was short. It was only 45 minutes. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, there was nothing. Like, you know, I, I, I got to avoid laying outside in the, in the puddle. <laughs> yeah. Do you like watching Law & Order? You know what? It, it's so weird because we're always on tour. That's... It's always on. It's at always like on two somewhere. In the yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and, so they, I watch it. and on Sundance, Thursdays and Fridays, like when I sit quietly to write, it's like my buddy. It just kind of hangs out next to me. <laughs> and sometimes I, I feel like really embarrassed because I hear myself answering the scene or the next line. I'm right, like, exactly. Oh, man, I got to get a hobby. Yes. I got to get a hobby. 